The extraordinary story of a woman who broke the gender barrier in science is an inspiration for young and old alike. Rosalind Yalow is the first woman to receive the Nobel Prize in Medicine. We follow her saga through her final triumph. She comes from New York. She's Jewish, and she's a woman. These were the terse reasons given by Purdue University to refuse admission in 1941 to Rosalind Sussman, which was Yellow's maiden name. If she hadn't fought such blatant discrimination, the life of this brave woman, 78 years old, would have been much different. Among other things, she wouldn't have been a Nobel laureate in medicine in 1977. We studied physics in Hunter, which was a girls' school when I was there. And then in graduate school at the University of Illinois, I was the first woman that one can remember. But the war was about to be on, and, and as a result, there were opportunities for women in science. After receiving her PhD in nuclear physics in 1945, from the University of Illinois, Rosalind returned to New York to work at the Veterans Hospital. There, she met Dr. Solomon Burson, who became her devoted working partner for over 20 years. We both were working at the VA, and the head of medicine at the VA suggested that Sol and I talk to each other because he felt we would work well together. And that's how it started. Together, they developed a technique called radioimmunoassay, using isotopes designed to identify rare substances in the human body's fluids. This technique uses radiation in a safe manner, thus paving the way for a more accurate diagnosis of illnesses caused by imbalances in the hormonal system. They demonstrated, for example, that diabetics didn't always suffer from a lack of insulin in the blood. Quite often, there were other unknown factors that blocked the hormones. Later, a research team used Dr. Yellow's techniques to test donors' blood for hepatitis, to correct the hormonal level in couples with infertility problems, and to treat children with stunted growth. All in all, this discovery revolutionized endocrinology, which is the study of hormone action, and rewarded Rosalind Yellow with the Nobel Prize. Her marriage in 1943 to Aaron Yellow, a physics major, are just as important to her as her career and the accolades she has received. And of course, there's the problem of being married and having children. I think it's important for women to have children and do research, which sometimes makes it very difficult. Rosalind is one of only six women Nobel laureates in medicine. In 1977, she suffered a stroke, but recovered to happily continue her worthy medical research. It's an unbelievable experience to learn that you're going to get a Nobel Prize. The great tragedy was that Saul Burson had died, or he would have shared it with me. A man capable of strangling himself. Our shows are getting weirder by the episode. <laughs> But I always look on the bright side, like those penguins in Antarctica. They were adorable. Well, for more bizarre and bright topics, please tune in to our next show. I second the motion. So long, everybody. Mental illness can take many forms. Schizophrenia, depression, 